Marine aquaculture in Maine began in 1949 when the Department of Sea and Shore Fisheries with the Federal Bureau of Commercial Fisheries began experimental cultivation of the European oyster, softshell clams, and other species. In 1971, the new National Sea Grant Program awarded funds to the University of Maine for the culture of resources in a cold water marine environment. Some of the funds supported the seawater system and a new hatchery at the Darling Marine Center. Around the same time, Mark Richman, founder of the Maine Coast Oyster Corporation, joined the new Marine Advisory Service as an aquaculture technician. U Maine professor Herb Haidu applied Sea Grant funds to develop ways to grow oysters and taught the first aquaculture course at U Maine. He would see his graduate students go on to become some of the first commercial shellfish growers in the state. By the mid-1970s, the Darling Marine Center hatchery provided millions of oyster seed to farmers in the Damariscotta River region, who organized to form the Maine Aquaculture Association in 1976. Sea Grant supported the first effort in North America to grow mussels suspended in the water column and provided support for handling, storage, and marketing of blue mussels. Part of the support went to Ed Myers of Abandoned Farm, the country's first commercial mussel farm and the first aquaculture lease granted in the state of Maine. Ed Myers was mentor to many, including Chip Davison, who founded Great Eastern Mussel Farms in 1978. Several UMaine alums, including Carter Newell, worked at Great Eastern during the course of the company's 30-year tenure. Overall, Sea Grant provided $400,000 for mussel-related projects between 1974 and 1979 resulting in a tenfold increase in mussel landings that has been sustained ever since. The hatchery technology that was developed for oysters soon expanded to softshell clams, which had severely declined by the early 1980s. In 1981, Washington County flats were seeded with half a million baby clams raised by Sea Grant biologist Sam Chapman. And in 1987, concern about declines in softshell clam harvest led Downey's clamors and town officials to team up with Brian Beal of Umay Machias to create the Beals Island Regional Shellfish Hatchery. The hatchery is now part of the expanded Downey's Institute for Applied Marine Research. In 1988, the Maine Legislature established the Maine Aquaculture Innovation Center. In 1985, Sea Grant microbiologist Paul Reno founded the Aquatic Animal Health Laboratory, in part to serve the Atlantic salmon farms that had started in Cobscook Bay. Marine Extension Associate Chris Bartlett assisted salmon farmers and other fishermen from his base in Eastport. He served on the committee that produced biosecurity guidelines implemented at 25 salmon farming sites, helping secure the economic vitality of salmon farms in Maine. Sea Grant also funded studies of salmon cage impacts on the ocean bottom, which found limited environmental effects in Maine's current rich waters, information used by the Department of Marine Resources to make lease decisions for new sites. When controversy erupted over a proposed salmon farm in Blue Hill Bay, Sea Grant coordinated a statewide series of meetings to create space for the public and the industry to understand each other outside of the regulatory process. As a result, the state made such scoping sessions part of the permitting process. Soon after joining the Marine Extension team in 1998, Dana Morse organized a seminar series on shellfish aquaculture, which resulted in publication of the Guide to Bivalve Diseases for Aquaculturists in the Northeastern U.S. Marine Aquaculture Research Education and outreach continue to be strong components of the Maine Sea Grant program. From oyster gardening classes to marketing workshops, to multi-trophic aquaculture that integrates sea vegetable culture with mussel farming, Sea Grant is always on the lookout for new and innovative ways to sustain Maine's seafood industry, just as they've been doing since the first aquaculture grant in 1971.